The Ebola virus, which has claimed nearly 1,000 lives in West Africa, may soon have a vaccine. On Saturday, World Health Organization officials announced that they've approached British pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline to rush a vaccine into development. GSK, for its part, has confirmed that they are proceeding to human trials in one month. This would make the vaccine development cycle, in this case, under six months, a process which normally requires years. The intention would be to proceed with a vaccine rollout for wide-scale trials, even if positive results are demonstrated only in a small subject population. Now, why would the company do this? Essentially, Ebola is a rapidly fatal disease, which results in hemorrhagic fever, uh, which means high fever with widespread bleeding in the vast majority of cases, and there's no known cure. All current treatments are supportive only except for an experimental serum which has been used in a few cases treated in the United States. While the testing scenario itself is not ideal, this disease has become a massive humanitarian crisis which has spread far beyond the reaches of any previous Ebola outbreak. Now in ordinary circumstances, an active treatment would be compared with a placebo. However, since we know that the disease is nearly 100% fatal, to randomize people to certain death in a clinical trial would be grossly unethical. Therefore, this is one of those scenarios where, even though the best scientific information would come from a randomized trial, this would be an inhumane way to proceed from a rational and ethical point of view. The World Health Organization's approach makes sense.